the glamorous lifestyle of the MLM consultant. Diamonds? Mm -hmm. They sure do. I'm diamond status. There is nothing pyramidic about it. I, I, I don't want to get too technical, but I obviously will. Who has never heard of the Tupperware brand? Nobody. It is currently one of my favorite 14 hobbies. I also have a job where I'm the boss of actual people in an office. I do that just for fun. I just buy all the products myself, you know, just so as not to bother anyone. I just recently started selling, selling this. It sounds, sorry. There's a lot of them. Okay, so this is Rodan and Fields. They're two doctors, very trustworthy, and they're women. So who doesn't love supporting women-owned businesses? They're women, I'm a woman, and, and that's how that works. Every skincare regimen has several steps. So this is step one, and then two, and then three, four. Who doesn't love steps to follow, man? This is uh, really not the easiest thing to sell. Some people might call, a, call it a saturated market, um, but you know, I like a good challenge. So I have an entire uh, spreadsheet of people that I've contacted, and I have the columns with their name, and how I know them, if they're an old friend from high school, maybe, or a friend of a friend on Facebook. I'm at about 7% uh, responses that are um, at least kind in their nose. I'm gonna find somebody in my network who hasn't yet heard of our Rodan Plus Fields and, and make sure that they get some um, intensive renewing serum for their aging face, because they need it. I don't know who you are yet, but you need it. I started selling for the Pampered Chef uh, about five years ago. The thought of anyone else nourishing the people I love and feeling fulfilled by anything that anyone else does for them is, I mean, I wouldn't say it's scary. It's more like, um, like terrifying. I have to admit initially, um, I feel a little guilty saying this out loud, a little shameful, but, um, my motives were selfish. It's just that I cook so much for my neighbors, you know, in my church and, um, for food shelters and, and the savings I got from being a consultant were just so dang alluring. I got sucked into the glamorous lifestyle of the MLM consultant. They made me a senior director and then an executive director. That was neat. And then a senior executive director. And I was like, whoa. So I started recording some of my sales for my downline gals. You know, I just, I wanted to see them do well and hit those minimums. And they started getting promoted over me. And it was like, ah, what are you doing up there? And everyone wants their nails to look nice. Color Street? I got involved in Color Street right as it was starting. I mean, nobody knew about it, and it was so trendy. You just have to open the package. That's it. Look at this one. It's called Paris Couture. So fancy. Look how fun and sparkly that is. Everyone's going to notice your nails. So you just peel that off. It's like a sticker. Everybody loves stickers. And look at that. Look at that. I've sold it to uh, my, te my kids' teachers, the neighborhood gals, my barista. I've sold it to everybody. You give someone your credit card to buy groceries and you just kind of let your hand linger until they go, oh, I like your, thank you, Color Street. You're waving at your kids to come get in the car. And you just kind of wave your hand strategically and the parent volunteer getting the kids in the car is like, oh, I like your nails. You're like, oh. Thanks for noticing, I forgot those were on. Yes, thanks for asking. There's a reason why I chose Paris Couture. Guess who's going to Paris because they got top sales last year. Ah, this girl. What do those look like? Diamonds? Mm hmm they sure do. I'm diamond status. Just. Before I sit down, I really like to anoint my seat with um, my Thieves Essential Oil Infused Spray. Thieves is absolutely murderous to bacteria. Oh, did I not mention that I sell for Young Living Oils? I just so value their blends, the artistry, peace and calming, forgiveness, valor, courage, dragon time. What I've started doing, as I've just gotten more experienced and confident, is taking their blends and mixing them together to create my own mega blends. I call this one Dragon Forgiveness. It is, it is pungent. <laughs> it's definitely not a pyramid scheme, or as I like to call them, cruelty triangles. No. If I had to ascribe a shape to it, it's like a blob, like, um, like, a, like a paramecium.
like a single-celled organism with um, irregular orders. But yes, I, I, I do get a percentage of their sales. I, uh, I don't know everything that there is to know about the science of Norwex or indeed the microfiber cloth. I have simply been conducting a little bit of my own research very casually for the last 19 months or so here in my home. And of course, at the same time, I've been running very rudimentary experiments to test the validity of their claims. It smells effective. These spaces between the fibers in the microfiber cloth pick up more dirt and or debris uh, from your surfaces than a cotton rag could alone. Approximately 99% of whatever is on your counters will be lifted because of the polyamide blends. I don't want to get too technical, but I obviously will. Oh, no, 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 no. I, I, am, I, I am not a consultant. I'm, I, am, I am technically a consultant, but selling requires um, talking to so, so many people. One of my girlfriends suggested that I have one of those parties uh, wherein you throw a, a slab of raw chicken onto the counter, um, like so, and then you clean it to the amazement and wonder of a gaggle of your, your peers. And I, I thought I, I could do that, um, or I could uh, close in on myself and speak to no one. I started selling Tupperware back in college, and if you can believe it, that's been 25 years that I've been selling Tupperware. Who has never heard of the Tupperware brand? Nobody. That classic orange plastic has really stood the test of time. It's just a tried and true family-oriented brand. And I know everything about it. I know at what temperature they melt at. I know at what temperature they maintain their cold and their hot foods. I know how they best are stored in cabinets. I know the best type of dishwasher soap to wash them with to make them last the longest. I'm just a walking Tupperware encyclopedia. And I've been able to fund all my vacations over the years. Of course, I always go back to the same lodge. I don't really see a reason to go anywhere else. I love that place. It's just been a really good, solid side income for me for, like I said, 25 years. Now, I've been tempted, I have to admit, Pampered Chef has a few nice things, but I, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna change. No. You know why I was able to do all that? One word, two syllables, Leg gings, leggings, leggings, leggings. It's two syllables, leggings. I am a part of an MLM, thank you for asking. It is currently one of my favorite 14 hobbies that I am a part of. Wearing leggings is a lifestyle choice for me anyway, so this just felt supernatural. Not supernatural like divine. Although there was a little bit of that too. You tell me one other article of clothing that can go from Taekwondo to the grocery store to a formal dinner party. Leggings. We got Damask. We got Chevron. We got Brocade. We got Basket Weave. We got Stripes. We got Holiday. We got Ditsy Floral. You never have to commit to one print again for the rest of your life. Let that sink in a second. The best part about being in an MLM, though, is the conventions. <laughs> Just a rectangular ballroom, poorly ventilated, full of hundreds and hundreds of consultants, aka potential homies. I mean, if that's not everyone's definition of a great time, I don't know what is. This is me before I started using Monet products. And this is me now. You know, people used to call me Karen all the time when I had that yucky old dry gross hair. And now I only get called Karen like once a month. That's more for my attitude than my hair though. I've been selling Monet hair care products for about two years and I have the one and only track record in the entire company of not one person ever saying no to me. One time I even got Howie Mandel to buy some. That's how good I am. No, no, this is not my main job. I also have a job where I'm the boss of actual people in an office. I do that just for fun. Before I did Monet, I did sell for another multi-level marketing company and did very, very well. I was actually able to sell my position and my entire downline for six figures. So that set me up very well to afford the Monet hair care line. Yeah, I've heard the rumors of clumps of hair falling out, people going bald and 
other generalizations, but I, I just refuse to believe that's true. I think people are lying because they're jealous. They're probably named Karen. Oh yeah, yeah, I um, I do. I sell uh, for Beauty Counter. Mm -hmm. I, I absolutely did not want to, um, but then my sister-in-law asked me if I would, and I was like, yes. There was this mixer at my sister-in-law's house uh, the month I started just a bunch of local reps and we sat in a circle and we uh, each had to say something about ourselves. And I had to go first and it was the worst day of my life. One of the senior executive directors said, um, don't be afraid to share the products you like with the people you love. And I was like, whoa, this chick wants to fight me. So you have to hit $1,200 every six months to stay in good standing. And I usually, I just buy all the products myself, you know, just so as not to bother anyone. It's a small price to pay to make sure nobody else feels uncomfortable and then abandons you. What? It is pungent. <laughs> I'm trying to do that without laughing. I called this one. Everyone can recognize it from a mile away. This isn't Tupperware currently.